ladies and gentlemen, we got a massive bombshell. We got reports and we even have a leaked video. We're going to get into it. Drop a thumbs up and uh, one in the comments if you think that Andrew Tate is innocent. Two, if you think he's not innocent, I want to know your thoughts on it. But breaking medical reports show that the nodules found in Andrew Tate lungs are not cancerous. And uh, we got this report out here, but quickly after, and this is that part that I definitely need your uh, input on because we are hearing conflicting reports because Andrew Tate manager confirms that he has lung cancer. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. A lot of people are asking me if Tate lung cancer story is true. Yes, it's true. I was the one driving him with him to the, in front uh, and from the hospitals in Dubai. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't have any more specifics. And then we have Keemstar who got right into the news and he said the alleged medical records of Andrew Tate, Cobra Tate have leaked online. They show the possibility of Tate having lung cancer. So all of these reports are very conflicting. And we have this leaked video that I want to play for you right now. And, and let's actually check. This, this is going to be the most important information posted around the Andrew Tate case. Right now on your screen is CCTV footage of the women that were accusing him clearly being seen on camera, moving around, leaving the property freely. These women were meant to be human traffic. They were meant to be actual victims that were forced to stay at the property and work. But you can clearly see numerous Damn. times throughout this footage them living their normal life this is massive proof that needs to be shown to a judge in court being um, investigated the way they are now as you know in relation with the detention the investigation had begun and if they had anything to be concerned about i don't think they would have returned to romania i mean if they in fact were a flight risk so I think all of those factors really weigh against the fact that they would go anywhere, not to mention that they're highly recognizable. Uh, it's hard to imagine where they would go. Just looking at this situation, they're walking freely. They even have a security guard out Bruh. here. Doesn't look like victims to me, man. Honest, honest to God. That they wouldn't be identified. But that's certainly not what they were saying in the phone conversations that were used to convince them. So as you guys can see quite clearly through night to day, these women coming to and from the property, one getting out the car now, this is a person that says she was trapped inside and couldn't leave and there was so much fear involved, she's getting shot. Bruh, we even have electric scooter, homies on electric scooter Bruh. going around, I mean doesn't look like victims to me man, honest to god bro. out the car to treat herself, there's numerous things that point out clearly that these women were safe and sound in this property and there was no actual concern around it. Self-improvement to be the best version of yourself and to live your best life and to tell, you know, the youth that you you can do anything you put your mind to. And I think that's really his message. Now, of course, there are the smaller fractions of what he says, which, which is controversial. And yep, I think yep. that is what most people are upset about. I agree with a lot of stuff he says when he talks about self-improvement. Let's be real. It's logical, but they don't like to hear that. But there's some stuff that I disagree with as well. But guys, this also just happened. Click on this video on the screen. They don't want you seeing that. Or click the video on the left because it also leaked out, man. If you're into GTA 6, Bruh. check that video out on the left. Check these videos out, guys. And I will see you right there.